Is there anything in particular you want to talk about today? This stuff with Jessica. The Jessica, who you broke up with a couple of years ago. Anna Kapli, we broke up. It was her choice. So she broke up with you. Anna Kapli, yeah. yeah. She broke up with me amicably. But you wanted to break up at the time? No, she's my everything. All right. Um, so have you been working on some of the coping mechanisms we talked about? Have you worked yeah, on... Yeah, I've been trying to fucking finesse my fucking tool belt or whatever you said. Yeah. Like, some... fill, fill up my toolbox. Yeah, well, well, I think the real idea is your toolbox is already full. It's just the, uh, you need to learn how to use the tools you have. So have you been trying things? Have you been doing anything to get better? Yeah, I've been doing the, like, the excursion therapy or whatever that we fucking worked on. Exposure. Exposure therapy. Exposure. Yeah. The first thing I thought would be really chill to try is to, like you said, to try, like, musics. Yeah, yeah, creative outlets. Yeah, so I wrote a song for her or whatever. Oh, yeah. Would you like to play it? Yeah. Basically encompasses like the dark abyss that is my soul as of lately or whatever. Dark abyss. One sec. Dark abyss. That is my soul. And it's called Jessica Come Back Please Now. And if you want to cover it, it's a E and then A. I don't really play. Like a hair misses a comb. Come on back, come on home, Jessica. I wish I could have sex with you like we used to. Sex was great, it was dope, I miss you so much, yeah. So, whatever. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Uh, um, that looked incredibly therapeutic for you. It actually, you'd think that that would help, but it actually, it just made it worse. Yeah, I could see that too. When I said therapeutic, it, I meant it made it seem like you should come to therapy more. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I feel like five times a week is getting really expensive though. No, you need it. What, what else have you been doing to uh, work on these feelings? Well, like, as you heard in the song, our sexuals were always like top tier. Especially, like, she'd give me these bloges that, like, I could never, like, recreate. So, I bought this thing called the Auto Blow. It's a really cool product. It's affordable and also, like, it feels like the real thing. What, what is that? It's called the Auto Blow. It has 10 uh, different settings and also a bunch of different speeds. And you can pause and play as much as you want. It's an artificial blow drop machine. And that's, that's for sale? People could buy that? People could buy this. And I basically purchased it. Does it feel, like, is it good? Does it feel good? Dr. Brown, here's the thing. Like, I thought, like, this was never going to, like, be as good as Jessica's. The problem is, is it better? It's just funny because my wife doesn't really do that anymore. And you put your... So basically, you can speed it up or slow it down. And it feels so good! I am definitely interested in that. Links in the description if you want to pick one up. Description of what? You know. Well, the third thing I tried to do to get over her, I got a tattoo of Jessica on me. You got, you got a tattoo? Yeah. 
Where is it? Uh, it's her name, and I thought it would be a good idea. And this is real. I actually did. I actually did this. My name is Blake Roger, and I actually did this. It hurt a lot, and it still hurts because it's healing. It said it'll be healing for like seven months. That's not normal. Tattoos. Usually. I got it in a bar, in the bathroom. Did they clean the needle and? No, they said they have the same, they use one needle per day and it's not healing and freaking hurts. And every time I freaking feel the pain, it just makes me think of her. So I just need some Damien, more. Damien. As your therapist, I just feel like it's my responsibility to tell you. You gotta buck up, suck it up, and fuck shit up. Wait a second. Did you say buck up, suck it up, and fuck shit up? Buck up, suck it up, and fuck shit up. You've been a bitch, Damien. You've been a tiny little bitch. Yeah. It's kind of sad to watch you, because when you first came in here, I thought you were about to be one of the coolest guys I've ever done therapy to. Yeah. Hey, Doc. Yeah. Thanks.